uh, has had an extraordinary, distinguished career. She's simply unable now to fulfill her duties. And it's sad to see. Uh, it's sad to see her in this state where she is missing votes, where we're not being able to confirm uh, judges because of her absence on the Judiciary Committee. Uh, and I just think uh, we should have someone in that role uh, who can do the job right now. That's part of Hannah Trudeau's exclusive interview with progressive Democratic Congressman Ro Khanna this morning. Important to note, he's in Des Moines, Iowa, roughly halfway between his native California and Washington, D.C. Put his presidential ambitions aside for, for just a second. Feinstein is out because of shingles, a particularly painful skin condition. There's every reason to believe she can return. We've heard no calls from Democrats for John Fetterman to step down. Thankfully, he's out of the hospital because of depression, but still suffers from the same speech processing issues as before after a stroke. Mitch McConnell was out for five weeks with a concussion, will return shortly, but again, no calls for him to resign. Nancy Pelosi, of all people, had, had an explanation for the double standard. She deserves the respect to, to get well and be back uh, on duty. And uh, I, I just, it's, it's interesting to me. I don't know what political agendas are at work that are going after Senator Feinstein in that way. I've never seen them go after a man who was sick in the Senate in that way. News Nation political contributor Johanna Masca with us now. Does Pelosi have a point? Well... The trouble for Feinstein is um, she's not getting any younger. And look, I think the point is that we probably should be calling out the men as much as the women for their long absences. So, you know, in California particularly, we're already underrepresented in the, in the Senate because you've got one in every eight Americans living in the state of California, and you've only got two senators. So for Roe, this is his district. He's representing Californians, and they don't have a senator at the table. So he actually has a point. Now, <laughs> that said, uh, John Levitt and some of these uh, pod bros that I served alongside in the Obama administration have been calling out Feinstein and haven't been calling out the men. And so while Pelosi has a point, I think we need to call out the men. And to your point, Leland, uh, Mitch McConnell was out for five weeks and no one, none of the Kentucky men were stepping up and saying, hey, guys, maybe we need to look at a new generation of leadership. I think it may be time to look at term limits. <laughs> one of the two things the founders didn't uh, think about because it wasn't something they had to worry about. Hey, look, I've got about 20 seconds before the end of the show, but I wanted to get you on this. What do you make of Ro Khanna being in Iowa? <laughs> He definitely is setting up uh, the um, path to be president. Not this time, obviously. He's going to back Biden, as everyone is, even though they're not talking about his age. But uh, he's been making these moves for a while, and he's a Midwestern guy. So he's called out tech in California, and he's been building bipartisan credentials in the middle of America. And I think he'll be an interesting candidate. He will be indeed. Uh, indeed, indeed. Great point about Joe Biden and age as well. Johanna Mosca, thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.